So about 80% of Winston-Salem's drinking water comes out of the Yadkin River right here. So we all have a stake in ensuring that it stays clean. Promoting you know, fishable, swimmable, drinkable water is the mission of river keepers across the world. My name is Will Scott and I'm the river keeper for the Yadkin Riverkeeper Organization. Our mission is to promote fishable, swimmable, drinkable water in the Yadkin River watershed, which is the second largest river basin in North Carolina. So the, the Yadkin starts up in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Uh, its headwaters are the Blue Ridge Parkway, and it runs 215 miles down, uh, first sort of along the foothills of the Blue Ridge, turns south at Pilot Mountain, uh, runs past Winston-Salem, and turns into a series of lakes um, that are managed by dams run by Alcoa. And then it becomes the PD down at Uari National Forest, where it runs into the Uari River. To people here, you know, it's a source of recreation. There's a lot of people that swim and, and fish in the Yadkin, and it also, you know, is the lifeblood of these communities because the majority of our towns here in the, in the watershed get their drinking water from the river itself. I think the, the role of a river keeper is to be the voice for the river, right? Because all, everyone else has their, their separate interests, whether it's, you know, for their family, for their town, for their community. Um, and we're, we're just here to look out for the health of the river and to make sure that there's someone who's uh, arguing for the river uh, whenever there's a decision that comes up that might impact the water here that we all drink and depend on. No two days are the same. You know, we work on a lot of different issues. Uh, our river basin's over 7,200 square miles, so there's a lot of different communities. We get complaints from communities. We go out and we meet with them. Um, we sample water, we take it to a state certified lab, and then if there's a problem, we try to figure out how to best address it with the folks there in the community. I think we take clean water for granted here in the United States. There's a lot of places in the world where you can't turn on the tap and drink the water that comes out of it without boiling it. Um, so that's really a, a privilege that we have. And we're just trying to ensure that, you know, even though there are all these other considerations uh, and all these other ways that people use the river, that it's protected and it's healthy so that we can continue to drink that water as this state continues to grow. You have to have someone who's out on the water on a regular basis who understands what's going on with it at that time of year. Um, how it's changing, and you know, just whether it's healthy or not in different sections. And that that's something that even if we have good clean water laws and good people in government looking after it, we just need somebody who's out there looking after it on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what I really love about this job.